everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'll cover an easy way to root and start sugarcane in water. Basically, you start with thick stalks of sugarcane like this, because when sugarcane starts up, it needs to feed off the sugar that's stored in the stalk. So you need nice thick stalks. Secondly, you need at least two nodes to start sugarcane, because both of these nodes is going to be underwater and sugarcane is going to be cut right here. So this part is going to be above water. And you need to have two nodes for better chance of success of developing your roots. Number three, you need to submerge the stalks of sugarcane right side up. And you'll know which way is the right side up by looking at the node. So whichever way is this cover pointing and whichever way is the node pointing, it's right side up. So I have the sugarcane stalk here and I have one node right there and the second node is right there. So I'm going to make a cut right here so that this node is easily submerged in water for this section. So let's make a cut right here. There you go. That's one section of sugar cane which we can root in water. All right, this is done. Now let's make another cut. So we'll do that right there. Keep this to the side a little bit. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to cut sugar cane, it's like bamboo. There you go. So I got three sections of sugar cane, which we can now root. I'm also going to make another cut with just one node just to try it out. Maybe I'll just do two of those. So here's the node and I'm going to cut right there. So I want it to root this way down and the, the shoot is going to come right up here. All right, yeah, let me do two of those. I always like to experiment, you know, and, and see what I can do with different techniques cutting my two by four there. There you go. I finally got it. So here it is. I got two sections with just one node each. Look at the inside of the sugar cane. It is filled with sugar. Nature is beautiful. Sugarcane grows in many parts of the world, in Florida, Hawaii, and in India. When I went to India, I saw vast expanses of field full of sugarcane. I actually tried fresh sugarcane juice and actually chewed on sugarcane to extract the juice as well. And it was a wonderful experience. I have a bucket full of water and I'm submerging the bigger ones in the bucket of water. Making sure that the top does not go below the water line because otherwise they will rot. So I'm going to position them this way. I also fill a couple of cups of water and I can use these to start the smaller pieces of sugar cane. So here goes the first one and the second one. Well check it out. The sugar cane has roots and it's growing. And the sugar cane has a shoot that's coming out too. That's so exciting. Check out this sugar cane. It also has these shoots forming and it's also forming lots of roots. That is so exciting. So this is about three weeks worth of growth and the shoots are very well under the way and the roots are really healthy as well. I keep changing water every two to three days to keep fresh water for sugar cane. And that's all you need to do to start your sugar cane. Well, this is the bucket I've been using to grow sugar cane. And well, check this out. Check out the roots on this sugar cane and check out the buds that are forming. Check out the shoots. That is just so cool. Look at these roots as well. And both of these sugar canes are doing really well. This is going to be absolutely amazing to grow. Well, just look at this sugar cane. Well, the shoots are forming very healthy and the roots are forming really well as well. This is really easy to grow. Well, the sugar cane is growing beautifully. Check it out, it sprouted really nicely. And look at these sugar canes as well. These are sprouting too and they're ready to be planted. So in just two months, sugar cane has sprouted and look at how big it's got. It's about a foot tall, maybe a little bit more than a foot. And also check out these two sugar canes as well. They're growing really well too and they have a really nice set of roots as well. 
and they are ready to be planted now. Look at the root structure on this sugar cane and look at the shoot growing. Really nice healthy roots and very healthy shoot as well. So to plant sugar cane, you need really loose soil. So I've already tilled this soil, just really loose and I got rid of all the weeds as well. Check out this soil, so nice and fluffy. Now it's time to add some compost. All right, here comes the compost. Some nice, rich black organic compost. So let me mix it with the soil. All right, now we are ready to plant. So sugarcane likes to grow in clusters. So I'm gonna make an area to grow sugarcane right here, one right here, and another just right here. So this is the sugarcane I'm planting. It has nice roots and I wanna keep the shoot straight up. That's the way to plant it. And you wanna bury the entire sugarcane. So let's make a space right here. So I made a hole right here and I planted my sugarcane and it's pointing right up. So I'm gonna cover it with some soil. Cover it completely so that sugarcane is buried completely in soil. And press it so that no air gets to the sugarcane. Like that. This is a shoe that's pointing different way than this one. So I'm going to lay it down flat side right here and the shoots are going to crack themselves. So I'm going to bury it. There you go. I'm going to completely seal this off so that no air gets in there. So let's plant the third one right here as well. Okay, dug a hole right here and I put the sugar cane right in there. Got some compost, put the compost in there. Some nice generous amount of compost and then just bury the sugar cane. All right, so all these three sugar cane have been planted. Just to give sugar cane more nutrients and also seal off the sugar cane, I'm adding a lot more compost as well. So mix it in with some soil. There you go, it's all done. So after planting, just water the sugar cane generously. And keep the soil moist as the sugar cane continues to grow. So the reason why I started this sugar cane in water is because it remains cold here during the month of February and March. And February is the right month to grow sugar cane. If I were to plant sugar cane directly into the ground, I have to wait till April, which is right about now. And then I would be delaying the harvest of sugar cane as well. So starting sugar cane in February gives me 11 months to harvest so I can harvest next January. So this is how easy it is to start growing sugar cane. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.